has put Martin Lutman in pole position here to sweep the opening set. 100. And that steady ton, which is his third such score of the match, puts him 164 points in front. And a certainty, you'd think, to be first to the double. And this is a good draw for Luke Minnick. I mean, Yamamoto find his feet slowly. Ah, oh, really good, really good. Needed that just to work his way back into leg. But I was going to say for Lukeman, we forget that this is his debut because he's been on our TV screen so much this year. So to have this comfortable start will be helping him relax. He's not playing at his best, but hasn't had to so far. Can go double double here. Double 18 for double top if he went that route. But he went the more conventional 60 for double eight. 54. And Martin Lukeman Martin, then two darts teams. away from a three legs to nil whitewash in the opening set. Tops this time. Double 10. 28. Now then, chance for Yamamoto. And I said if Martin Lupin misses doubles, Yamamoto needs to be there to strike. Well, this is an opportunity. No darts at a double yet in this match. Crowd getting involved. Just got to compose. We've got a double ten. It's a good market. He'll work his way in. And he can't afford to miss those chances. Surely now, Lupin will wrap up set one. say surely Mark and you're right and Martin Lutman is right keep being ruthless if you're the guy winning all these legs and just carry on you know rubbing their nose in it because that's your job as a professional sportsman or woman and Lutman's just teeing up the legs well he needs to tidy his doubles up but he's in complete control he's had in a place and he's got a big break as well Lutman he's not playing his next match till the final session on the 23rd but we break for Christmas so Got time to rectify. Now he has missed 11 at double, but none of them have been punished. Now, in theory, that should make hitting a double easier. I don't know whether it does or whether it doesn't. I mean, I don't know what's going through Martin Lutman's head, but he's knocked that one off in the first time of asking, and that's now five straight legs, and he's one leg away now from going two sets to the in front. Best leg of the match, dude. With imposter in the crowd milking it. They've started early. Yamamoto started late, but now he's starting to fire. And that is the first maximum of the match. Mark referenced 174 as well. So two, three treble visits for the Japanese Aaron Smith. That's a nice one, isn't it? Left, right, and center. Great camera angle there, and he's in control of this leg. It's a big lead. He's just got to tee it up well. This is good. 109 remaining. Oh, this is a really good leg. This is what Yamamoto can do. It's took him to the sixth leg. But potential of an 11 data from absolutely nowhere to get his first leg on the board. 137. Choice of double here for Nobuhiro. And the choice is double 16 off the single 20. It'll be a dozen data if he nails it now. And it is a dozen data, best leg of the match. Round two on debut here at the World Championship. Fifty-two. Double twelve then for two sets to nil. Double six for two sets to nil. Eastern side. 18. Another three go begging. I said Martin Lupin, if he wins this game, we expect him to. He's got a long break. Well, I said long ish break to the 23rd where he plays again. I think practicing some doubles might be worth it because I give it the big build up. Finishing was his strong point, but. Yeah, and that's true over a period of time. Anyone can have a bad match on the double. And 
I think it's far more likely if should he win and play Martin Schindler that he'll double out much better than the 26 percent he's doing here one double one now oh now oh and it goes which was a pretty good finish on that to a lot of pressure so I'm not surprised that he's dealt with this occasion okay What are we seeing here? Brilliant from Yamamoto, it's on. With six start into a nine. Right out of the blue, are we going to see one of the most unlikely nine dart legs the World Championship has ever witnessed? No, we're not, but that wasn't far away, by the way. It's a well-thrown dart, though, isn't it? He's been pulling them low, that wasn't. It was just slightly oh, overpitched. Yeah. And applause from the crowd, and deserved as well. Yeah, just above the top wire. But needs to win the leg. He's had a 12 dart already, potential 11 here for Yamamoto. Gone double top, double top here. Oh my, what a leg of dance from number hero Yamamoto. His last visit in this match. Lukman should get one match there, and Yamamoto has not left the finish, so I I leave the, the 15 for well, he will leave the 15 for Bully. He played aggressive, generally it happened, but it's tired yet. That's fine. Yamamoto not on a finish, Lukman will come back and have that for a debut win at the World Championship. Well, it is fine, but double four downwards has the potential to get very messy very quickly. And we've seen it get messy for Martin Lukman in this match from double four. Early on, he ended up on double one, didn't he? Yeah, it's the panic if you come inside on that. But he's got plenty of time here. What do you think? Unless there's a treble here, he has. Ah! 85. That just Martin made it a little bit more interesting from Nobuhiro Yamamoto. Double four, then, for the match. Martin Lukman. And there it is. And look at that. Martin Lukman is through to the second round. Let's see what he can do. The Asian champion. Seventeen then, yep, to twenty-five. Seventeen is your shot and then tops. First dart and a double in this match. Forty-two. Simon Eric White. Just took too much time, I think, for me there. He does have quite a slow pace, doesn't he? Get there in the end. Uh, three nil, three straight legs, and it really was as easy as that suggests. Simon Whitlock off and running at this World Championship. The older he gets, the harder it will get, and the more competition there is. I mean, the, the competition in the PDC is frightening compared to what it was four or five years ago, and it was pretty good then. You're exactly right there. And missing out on the major TV tournament really is detrimental. That's where it really hurts. Oh, lovely. Really good. Just what he wanted. One big travel per visit. 39. Well, we, we, we said it was awful from Whitlock at the end of the last leg. This is even worse. Very true. Perez is going to have six darts from here, although he may only need the three. Back for tops. 76. With Simon on 229, he'll be back. Fifty-nine. 
Whitlock has had 15 darts to get down to 170. The one set all, Christian Perez. And there it is, totally unexpected. Simon Whitlock had two darts for a two set lead. Favourite to do just that. He does have complete control of this leg here. Well, he's got to fill it, got to go for the lock. Oh, uh, deflection. And that happens with Whitlock probably more often than others, simply because of A, the darts, and B, the angle they go in. Brilliant. Oh, so close. One dart to the set. So back comes Christian Perez. Whitlock, don't forget, missed dart for a two-set lead. The Aussie could find himself trailing here. Oh, can he find... Well, can he find a way through? Unbelievable. He had total control of this leg. 180, 140 to start the leg. He's missed four darts for the set. Can Whitlock punish? And he can. Simon Whitlock pitches it. Well, we've just seen him hit a 117 in the last leg. Oh, no, not going to see a 167 in this leg. So Simon will be back for the 68 to be able to level up this fourth set of one apiece. Now, a chance here for Perez to double his lead in this fourth set. A great dart, that is. That's pretty good, too. That's a break of throw. He made this hard for himself, but he can have no complaints if this does go to a, a final set. You almost feel like this 150 needs to go here for Simon. Another one of those. Just outside. 95. So Perez Isn't back for 88 to be able to take out this fourth set 3-0. And with his checkouts of 117 and 67 so far in this set, you'd like to think that he's well he's got gonna have one double double, double seven. And there it is. Brilliant. What a really good set from Christian Perez. And we are going the distance. He's getting lucky here being given these extra opportunities, but it's whether he can take them or not. Oh, Unbelievable. Seven he has missed. The scenes. Oh. This is just theatre at the Alley Panel. Whitlock's missed seven, Perez has missed six. Now Perez has missed seven. He's missed eight. Some very nervy darts being thrown here by Nine both darts so missed far. by Christian Perez. Seven missed by Simon Whitlock. And we're still counting. And we're still counting. Oh, it's probably one of the most important double ones. He's hit 
in his long and illustrious career. Uruguay, 86. 86 after nine to win the match. Is he going to win it with an 11 data? 12 will do. 17. He's missed two for the match. Christian Uruguay, 106. Well, and with Perez on 106 here, we still could be going to a last leg decider. Not now. Oh, that's unlucky. Now he's relying on Whitlock to miss. 66. Well, that's the last leg. Yeah, from Uruguay. Christian Perez, but somehow Simon Whitlock finds a way, and somehow Simon Whitlock. Well, this is really an excellent start from Adam Gavlas. Got the first two legs in his pocket, and he'll have the first set in his pocket if he can convert the advantage he's crafted for himself in this third leg of the set into a win, and it'll be 3 0 opening set. Yes, the double 18. Well, he's missed. Two darts at double for really big ton plus finishes. One for a 136 and that one there for the 147. So this is great stuff. Richie needs a lot here, really. Good enough to keep him on Gavlas's coattails. But three in hand now at double 18 for the opening set. Number nine. And there it is. Takes the first set. Well, Richie Burnett accidentally leaves double 12. He was looking for a single 16 there to leave tops. But Ryan Sir will enable me to go to town on nicknames again, telling him that he ought to be Ryan the Pearl Sir, not heavy metal. He doesn't like that at all. Wrong double, Richie. Double three now. Double three. And this could get messy here from here. And it started getting messy when he hit double 16 into the single 16. That's yeah. cleared up the mess, oh, hasn't it, Richie? <laughs> I think, in fairness, Richie Burnett's movement has been even more exaggerated than normal, hasn't it? It's above average. He really is throwing himself around here. Just below that first dart, it's perfect for Richie Burnett to leave double 18. Oh, oh again. We haven't seen a ton plus finish yet in this match, but we've seen a few near misses, missed darts at double at the back end of three figure combinations. And double 18 has been missed, I think, now on three or four occasions as a oh, end of a combination. Richie require 18. Double nine. Closer and in. Given Burnett the chance to level up the set. Lovely dart. 71 left. Was looking to leave double 16 via the treble 13, but even so, a two dart combo left for Burnett to level up in this fourth set. And he hopes it'll be the final set, mind you. As you say, a huge opportunity to break back. The tops. Is that a marker? 30. Just pulls it inside. Well, it was a pop, pop finish, but he didn't go. 17. Tops. Important dart. Got it. And that opinion will change with every dart. I'd rather be Gavras now, quite clearly. 78, two dart combination here, possibly for the Czech thrower. He's going to need at least all three here, possibly another turn. Accidental double, 20 left. Double 10 left. Absolutely millimetres in that, right on the wire, but uh, 
to say another chance here for Burnett 104. Yet to see a ton plus finish. Can this be the next moment? Going for four 18s to leave 32. That's two 18s. Leaves 68. Three, Leaves 48. It was a half chance. He couldn't take it. Gap last then. And will be all square. Double five. Last chance saloon, but the bar was not closed. And Adam Gablas levels up this darts match. 14 legs played, they've won seven apiece, and the order in which they've won them means... I think Suter's got quite a chance against uh, Daryl Gurney. I'm with you, Laura, yes. 437. Well, that leaves it handy if Burnett misses. Will he miss on top with two in hand? With one in hand on double ten. And Gavlas's big score the visit before now reaps its reward because now he has in all probability two in hand here and he has two at tops big moments these double ten chasing around like burnett was before him he's got a let off he knows it needs to take this right now Bust. That is what is commonly known as a darting disaster because it took away darts two and three in one fell swoop. And now Gavlas on double five. And people sit at home saying, How do they miss? How do they keep missing? Well, the question should be, How do they actually hit anything at this stage of a match? How do they hit? Can he hit? Burnett waits and waits and hopes and gets the hope, gets the result he was waiting for which is five scored from Kurt Bevins and now back to Burnett he won't be going near the segment near the double 15 here will he no he won't higher up and in well 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 he was on the brink there Laura of being pushed to the very brink of defeat but he's now Well, he was wanting three treble 19s there, wasn't he? Which would have left 32. Anyway, Burnett wants 82. Bull the first target. Oh, and he's missed the outer bull as well. 74 are left. Good dart. Double 16 for Burnett. So he had first darted double in the third leg. Gavlas should get one here. He does get one. He gets one at double 16 at the back end of this 70 combination. And yeah. Adam Gavlas oh takes the third leg of the decision to hit what would be his 14th 140. And there's a lot of tungsten blocking the path. But it is 100 to leave 80. And he will be back for that 80. And should he take it out, we'll go all the way to the last possible leg. Oh, brilliant darts. That's Adam Gavklas. Oh, two at double ten, and Burnett has to hit. Has to hit it, Richie. Oh, and again, it's that double 15. That pesky double 15 busts his score, so even if he comes back, he's back to 80. And he's hit that double 15, going for double 10 twice. This now, for the match, double eight. And Richie Burnett will be an emotional wreck as Adam Gavlas. Just hard with the way he's playing, but if he does lose the set, it's a set he's lost on his opponent's throw, so it is time to reset for him. But it's not won and lost just yet. Yeah, come down now, surely. 99.
Suter. Going to set who's in complete charge of, but still, two set darts have come and gone already. One more here. And he's missed again. Three for the opening set. What a steal this would be for Daryl Gurney. Sitting nicely. He'll be disappointed. 100. Well, he's already been three darts for the set, Alan Suter. But he gets the job done, you have to say, he deserved it. Suter goes one up on Daryl Gurney. No, it was, that was when he was at his peak. He was seen him have Nichols and Simon Whitlock in that Grand Prix final, get him in price. He likes to be in, involved in a proper match, Daryl Gurney. And he needs a bit of that. He does, and I, I said that earlier, I think... I think he's been taking defeat too well, and... 18. Honestly, an, an angry Daryl Gurney is a successful Daryl Gurney. Is a better Daryl Gurney. Yeah. Well, a, a leggy dominated, but he might lose. Oh, what a shot that was from Alan Suter. Two darts missed from Daryl Gurney for a break of throw. And... Suter's got a two-set lead in the palm of his hand, and he's just got to stay straight and tee this up. Good adjustment. Really good. We miss the aggression from Alan Suter. We said the seeds have had it all their own way so far. Peter Wright, Kim Hybrex, Michael Smith. Not dropped a set. Well, you and I talked before that a dart was thrown here, and we thought that if it was Suter against Gurney, that Gurney as a seed was very vulnerable. Still a lot of darts to be thrown. But at the moment, he is looking vulnerable. And it looks like he's going to have to come back from two sets down. We shall see. 56. Yeah, seems to have been afforded the time. And this could be irrelevant for Gurney. Set darts incoming for Alan Suter. He's in dreamland here for a two set lead. And Suter is two set to two time quarter finals for the World Championship. Daryl Gurney met twice last year, one apiece. One of them was in the Players' Championship finals. Gurney edged Suter out. Suter beat him in a, a pro tour, but we could be seeing a third consecutive break here. Really good response again from Gurney. Nine darts thrown, 58 left. 91. Daryl, you 58. Double 19, then. That's fantastic. That is absolutely fantastic. With so much on the line. Coming here. Well, treble 18 for the double. The reaction from Suter. He knew he was a mile off for that treble. I just think he made the wrong decision. Going for the treble 20 with that last start. It's got to go, you feel, Mark. Big for Gurney. Unlucky. It's looking like he's going to have to find another break. No one's held throw in this third set. 54. And you require 12. Suter to go on the brink. Surely. Going the wrong way. Ah, good last start. Wow. Wow. Breaker for Daryl Gurney. Every set has gone the distance. Every leg in this match has been played. 100. Fine last dart again from Daryl Gurney. 97. Daryl, you require 100. Manages to find the treble 19, but 138 coming in. Will he stay there? Well, he went for the treble 18. There was a case for him staying there. The bed was open and empty. But he's left Alan top Maguire for the set after 12. Take a bow, Daryl Gurney. You've given everything. You've given everything, but it might not be enough. Wow! What a dart! What a shot! What a way to win! He has done it again! Alan Suter, who's made a habit of winning the big game, with the biggest checkouts.